Hello, Mr. Wright here. I wanted to explain how to get a trombone out of the case safely and carefully, how to put it together, how to prepare the slide, and to get it ready to play, and then also how to put it away. So first of all, you want to make sure that your case, or the label of the case, is facing up. Then you unlace and have it sitting on a nice, safe place so that it doesn't slide off. This is not the best place to have it right now, but I'm going to do my best to be very careful. And when you open up the case, you'll see the two different compartments right here. What we're going to do is take out the slide in this upper section right there. Usually there's a little flap right there and do that. And then there's the slide. We're going to take the slide out first. That's what we'll take out every time. And then I'm going to hold the trombone to where this upper section is longer. It's facing toward my chest. And I'll hold it that way. And there's a little slide locking mechanism right in here. I'm just, that's unlocked, that's locked. I'm gonna unlock it right now, and you gotta hang on to both pieces because it could just slide right out. Um, I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna get this slide ready to play. I'm gonna take it off carefully with no one else running beside me and bumping me. I'm gonna set the outer slide where that little water key is, the, the outside of it. I'm gonna set it in the top part of the case where it came from, to where it's nice and soft and padded. And you wanna always be very careful with this because if you put a dent in that outer slide or this slide, It'll make it to where your trombone won't want to play, or it won't. The slide won't want to move. And I'm basically putting my hand on the same piece of tubing that my I'm working on to clean off. And this is just an old handkerchief or an old T-shirt will work just fine. And I'm cleaning that old stuff off. And if your case comes with uh, slide oil, that's not really good. It's not going to protect your slide because you don't. A lot of times you'll, you'll still have the metal against metal, which will grind away, particularly these little sections right down there that get larger. larger. So this doesn't really do any good uh, to protect your slide. But what I do is I get some uh, slide cream. There's different brands of it that you can get. Ask your band director, but they usually sell at a music store. And uh, you just take just a little bit on your finger, like about like, uh, like so, not a whole lot. And that's enough for both slides. And and I'm going to start rubbing it on this slide right here and get it just a very thin layer. You don't want to be able to, you're going to rub it in to where you don't see it anymore. And I put just a little bit on there to where it's a very fine coating and it's to protect. And now I'm moving my hand over here to the other one that I'm working on. Just a fi fine, thin layer of cream all over that. And then you'll need to get like a trombone spray bottle, just a water bottle, spray it down, and it makes it very slippery. All right, and then I put the outer slide, and notice that I've got the, the longer piece right down here, it's kind of got like this. And I'm gonna match this longer piece right here with the water key, the tubing that's got to see the water key right there. I'm gonna match it up to where the water key and the long slide piece are together. So I'm gonna just take it, I'm gonna lay it down and I'm gonna put it together like this. Hopefully you can see that. It kinda of makes it easy to match them up. And wow, that's so much better, yeah. Now I've got the trombone slide again, the long piece right here. It's gonna to connect to the bell section. It's close to my chest. Then I'm gonna reach over here, move this little flap out of my way, and I'm gonna get the bell section. I'm just gonna take the, the bell joint and lift it up out like this. And notice I'm gonna keep it close. I'm gonna keep this part straight up and down. You don't wanna put the trombone together upside down or anything. I've got this close to my chest. And I'm gonna take this piece right here, the trombone, and I'm just gonna set it on top like so. And then I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna try not to touch the, the bell section. And I'm gonna make a little L, like a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see, uh, like, like this. Maybe you can see that it's just making a, a little nice angle right there to where it forms like an L. And, and you wanna do it this way to where you're gonna move the slide with your right hand, even if you're a left-hander. Because later on, you might be able to need to play uh, like an F attachment with your thumb and there's another attachment and so you'll need your left hand to do those things. Um, so we put that together. I'm gonna keep that slide locked for right now. Then the last piece, oh, I keep it locked. And I know I wanna take this, this piece right here. This is your main tuning slide. You just take your thumbs, both thumbs, and press up like that. But that's only after you've made sure this slide is locked. Now I'm gonna come to this upper compartment. 
I'm gonna lift up the little flap, pull out the mouthpiece. Now this is one of my students' mouthpieces. I'm gonna put that back in. I'm gonna get my mouthpiece uh, instead, and I'm gonna just set it inside the receiver right here. Set it and just put it in there. Slight twist, and it's there. It's not gonna go anywhere. And uh, so, so we've got the slide ready to get a nice sound of the trombone. You don't want to mash your lips together and your teeth together. You actually want to spread them apart to where you could actually put your thumb between your teeth, like so, like. <sighs> My lips are so far apart if I just. <sighs> now the, the, the formation of your lips, say if you burn your hand and you want to blow your lips off, <sighs> like that. <sighs> <sighs> And I have my lips and teeth spread apart. My tongue is kind of down to the bottom of my mouth. I'm going, you start the air with a da tongue, like da. And uh, you want to open up your throat. The same sensation that you'd use is if you're like um, yawning. Oh, you're going to take your muscles and expand your throat. The same sound. And I'm going to put the mouthpiece back in the receiver. Begin the note with a tongue. Da, da. And again, uh, lips and teeth part, apart. Da. Don't mash your lips because if I mash my teeth and lips together and have a kind of a closed off sound in my mouth, that's what I want to do. And I'm beginning each note with a tongue. Da, da, da. Like so. Now, to put the trombone away after you've played, uh, oh, and when you hold the slide, I should say, and remember, this is the way you hold the trombone. I forgot to explain that as well. Um, I'm going to take my hand, my left hand, and kind of do this kind of a formation, and I'm going to put this finger on top of the trombone mouthpiece, and these three fingers go inside that little box right there, and I'm going to hold the slide after you uh, after you unlock the slide right there, you'll hold the slide with the thumb and the first two fingers. Just like Emory Remington ex ex explained to his students, you'll hold it like that. And sometimes uh, later on, I'll kind of hold it between these two fingers, my two middle fingers. And, and like that. And when I'm not playing, I'll have my pinky under here. And then when I'm sitting down, you want to hold the trombone slide between your knees to where if somebody's walking by, they don't hit that slide. You always want to protect this, always to keep the trombone straight up and down. Don't walk with it sideways to where somebody could hit you. And don't hold the trombone upside down. You want to hold the trombone straight up, close to your body, to where you can keep control of what happens to this very valuable, very delicate instrument. The, the trombone slide is the heart of the trombone. So, And when you're sitting down, as I said, you just want to balance that bell right on your left knee. Uh, don't set it down on the slide because that will over time begin to bend the slide and then it won't want to move. So you don't want to do that. So you want to keep it right there. And to put the trombone away, take the mouthpiece out, set it in that upper section up there. That's my mouthpiece. Then you come right here and you're going to unloose this uh, piece right there. Say it's, a, say it's a little bit stuck. Sometimes you could take it and just bend the slide of the bell out and it'll kind of loosen that joint right there. But when you, but I'm going to go ahead and loosen that. The joining unit right there and uh, then I'm going to take it and I'm, as I take the trombone apart you don't want to your first move to be going towards the slide because you could put a ding or, or a dent right there in the slide you want to move it away so I'm going to basically pull it apart like that and you want to do this with the trombone straight up and down and you move it away and then just lift it off and then carefully put this the uh, the bell section away and then put that in there then I'm going to empty out the water key like this. Sometimes it'll just drain out, or you can empty it out so, like so. If you, uh, uh, after about two or three weeks, you want to go over a bathtub at home, put your mouthpiece in just over the slide, and then pour some clear Listerine, the gold color, right down in here and let that kill all the germs down in here in particular. Because when you pull that slide back up, a rush of air can come back in as you inhale for the next breath. And you can kind of get sick that way. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure it's, you keep your trombone cleaned out. You know, also make your trombone feel, smell nice and fresh and minty. But uh, you, you'll empty out that water key right there to make sure it's all emptied out. Make sure your slide's locked. 
and then you're gonna set this in the upper section again. Uh, also, my hands never touch the bell section. There's never a need to do that. I never touch the middle part of the slide. There's no need for my hands to ever touch that. And uh, what I do with my trombone when I put it away is I take like two old t-shirts that are clean and I'll wipe off the whole surface of the trombone. Then after everything's, and also put your tuning slide back in. You wanna move that once every day so that it doesn't get rusted into place. Then you close up your slot, your case with a label facing up after you put all your stuff in there. And then you should be good to go. Take care of it and it'll last you a lifetime.